Hi, my name is Skubra, and in today's video on how to Interpreify, I'll show you how to join your Interpreify session as a speaker. But before we get started, make sure your technical setup is ready for your first session. If you need a quick reminder, watch our video on how to set up your equipment. Ready to go? Great, let's get started. Open your Chrome or Firefox browser and log into the Interpreify session with the meeting link and access token you've been provided. You will now receive a notification that the host has joined the meeting, meaning the session is ready to start. Click OK and edit your call settings. As a first-time user, you will also need to allow access to your microphone and camera. Next, you will be asked to select your language. Select none to hear the default floor language. You can always select a different language channel during the session. When you join a meeting, your microphone, video and screen sharing icons are grayed out and not available. They will turn green and ready to activate when you've been permitted to take the floor. By default, the main video on your screen is the one shared by the active speaker. If you prefer to see a different video, deactivate auto feature below the video quality drop-down and select the video you'd like to see. You can enlarge the video with the full screen interface icon in the bottom right corner of the main video. All features and navigation are now hidden at the bottom of your screen. You can control which videos you see by clicking on the split screen icon next to the envelope. Drag the white line in between the videos to control the video sizes. To exit the full screen, simply click the last icon on the bottom right hand corner and you're back to the default view. Underneath the microphone, camera and screen share icons, you can see the full list of participants. The list is in an alphabetical order. The host sits on top followed by participants that requested to take the floor. Everyone who is waiting to take the floor is indicated by the red icon next to their names. You can send messages to all participants in the event chat or send a private message to a selected participant. If you want to send a private message to a specific participant, simply click on the arrow next to their name. A pop-up window will appear, allowing you to chat in private. To address the whole audience, send your messages in the event chat underneath the participants list that is visible to all participants. You can also make font bigger or turn on audible notifications for new messages. Now, let's talk about how you can become an active speaker. If you wish to take the floor and speak to the whole audience, click on the green hand icon. This means you have requested to take the floor. The host will see your request and add you to the queue of the next people to take the floor. When it's your turn to take the floor, a pop-up window will appear saying that the host has allowed your streaming. Click on video and your video will appear in the video section for everyone to see. Your audio is now also live and others can hear you. The red volume bar and the stop streaming button on the top right indicates that you're on air. If you want to share your screen, click on the blue screen icon on the top bar and select the screen or application you'd like to share. Click and share. If you ever experience a bad connection, click on the restart all lines icon. This will restart all lines and you're back on track within a couple of seconds. When you're done presenting, click on the Stop Streaming button at the top right corner. This does not disconnect you from the meeting. It simply means your audio and video is no longer being streamed to others. You now return to being a listener. If you forgot to click the Stop Streaming button, don't worry. The host will do that for you. Once you stop streaming, the stop streaming button will turn into a red hang up button to disconnect you from the meeting. If you accidentally click on it, simply click on the same button once again and you will be connected to the meeting immediately afterwards. If you are experiencing any problems during a meeting and need assistance, click on the blue envelope in the right bottom right hand corner and send a private message to the moderator. 
The remote support team will answer immediately and lend a helping hand. When the session is over, click log out on the top right corner. Don't forget to log out, otherwise you may have trouble logging into your next meeting. Okay, now you're all set. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos on how to interpret.